Welcome back everyone, I'm Kate Plays Games, we're back with some more XCOM 2 and at the minute we're in the bar having a drink with all of our soldiers. What else is going on today? Well, let's have a look at the bridge. We're going to finish building this radio relay which will give us the suit up bonus which will instantly build armour which means we'll get everyone in war armour very very quickly which is superb. Welcome to the fight. Long live the resistance. That was very dramatic music for a rickety radio antenna. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, all armor and vest proving grain projects are completed instantly. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome. Though right, it let's is see. intriguing. Well, the Central Central Pilots Pilots have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. You can now get tier three gremlins. That's awesome. Let's do this because it's part of the story. We'll move the story on a bit. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. All right, well, instant build. Yeah. Mark three gremlins. Excellent. And we have a war suit. We just had to go back into the bridge to bump it. Let's have a look. What else? I think that was our first war suit. So let's. It's another one. And we're out of stuff. We're out of Illyrium cores. Okay. Oh, we need to look out for the Illyrium cores, don't we? Are there any sites which are Illyrium cores? No. But we'll visit the black market. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Illyrium crystals. Well, it's not Illyrium cores, is it? So. That's fine, we'll leave it. And where do we want to go now? We could go and do this black site just to knock the Avatar project down a bit. And then we could do this DLC mission which has been here for months and months and months and months. So I think that is what we're going to do. Setting course for Sector 2, Australia. Okay, let's have a look at the war suit. Now we've got three war suits. We're calling this heavy power armor the war suit. This is as tough and strong as we can make it, with plenty of power for handling heavy weapons. Now that looks absolutely badass, does it not? Plus six health, two points of armor. You gotta love that. Okay, since we've got three of them, I think we'll put them on our scout and probably our two beam cannon guys. Why not? This does mean that the B team can then wear the exosuits that the A team are leaving behind. Nice. And you're the other guy with the beam cannon. So three more war suits to get built, so we need three more Illyrium cores for that. Man, check out the health. Boop. Okay, he has his... let's have a look. He's got his Mark III Gremlin now, which is superb. Gremlin Mark III. And I think we'll leave him a mimic beacon because we know how good they are in emergencies. Alright, let's go. Sky 
Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. One Let's of our resistance break things. contacts tipped us to an alien facility apparently conducting research tied to the Avatar project. We're moving in to take out the site and do whatever we can to slow their progress. Approach the designated target position and place the X-4 charges. Then move to the evac point for immediate extraction. Once you're clear, we'll make sure that facility is out of commission for good. Menace 1 5. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X 4 charges. Position is obscured. It's the same as the one we did before, where we can spawn our own evac zone. So, what we'll do, we'll find a clever way of getting into this building. We'll get everyone in position, someone will go in and blow that up, and then we'll extract straight away. It's not timed, so we have plenty of time to pick our approach and be clever about this. Okay, turret stun lancer officer. That's not too bad. We've faced worse before. Already there. Location confirmed. Moving. Affirmative. Got an enemy squad here. Thank you, we know. That big heavy clumping sound was not these two guys. So there's something big over here. It could be another sectopod. It could just be a mech. Not some yeah, just a mech. Unbelievable. Since the last episode, I've added a new mod to the mod list, which colours your icons here. Green is free actions, blue is actions which don't end your turn, yellow is actions that do end your turn. Wish I'd known about this years ago. I think we're just going to move everyone up into cover. On my way. Even the snipers. On the move. Heading to that location. Understood. Moving out. This is about as close as we can get and still be in cover. So, what we're gonna do... See, war suits have shield wall, provide high cover to squad mates wherever you stand. Moving or attacking will cancel the effect. Pretty niche, but pretty cool. Instead of using our grenades and rocket launchers to kill this turret. I think I'm just gonna do it with guns. She has 95% chance to hit. This has 95 as well. Because these guys do shred, so we might as well just do this. It's not as if the turret's gonna sprint and get into cover, is it? Nice. Everyone has pretty good chance to hit, but this one is the best, so we'll do this. One dead turret. Voilà, j'en ai eu un. Indeed, my dear, it was perfect. Well done. 
and the combat music's gone off. So that's something good, at least. Okay, let's get our escape. Wow. A cactus provides more cover than wooden pallets. Must remember that. Je vais me mettre en position. On a des advents par ici. Okay, we've spotted them. And they've spotted us. Here we go. Okay, we have a shield bearer. Who we can hit with our shred cannon, which I think is probably good because it will destroy all this cover as well. Cool, instant kill. And she also gets her implacable move, which is fantastic. So we'll move her back into cover over here. Tout de suite. Back where you came from. Nice. Okay, these guys still have four lots of armor. And we do only have these two guys to go this turn. So I think we'll put him into cover. No. He's kinda he's in cover where he is, so we could just do a rocket launcher. Yeah, we'll do that. This car looks like it's exploded already, but we'll see if we can't make it explode again and With pleasure. damage that guy more. Yeah, he took two and then another two. That's great. That's really good, actually. Okay, what can you do? Not very much from where you are. You can't even fire your rocket. I don't really want to put him out here because that's really close to this. And as we know from bitter experience, these guys hit like an absolute train in close combat. That looks all right. Moving to position. Fifty-three is awful. A rocket launcher is great. So we'll do some of this and get rid of all Going the cover. On. Nice. 59 on him. Hmm. This is just a trooper, so I'm not overly concerned about him. Sixty-nine, seventy-one. Right. Let's have a look at where you can put your grenades. Or oh, you can't even hit him, so that makes our mind up for us, doesn't it? Let's demolish this guy and all the cover he's in. Hope we get a critical and it will kill him. Let's have a look. Seven. Ah, close. Close, but not quite close enough. Okay, fire pistol. 80% chance. Come on. That was awful. Not good. I know. Lightning hands. Try again on a 90%. That's more like it. Thank you. Happy now? Happy air, yes. We can't see that, but I'm supposing and assuming we can rocket launch it. Yes, we can. That should probably put it into its second stage. Second stage doesn't have the gun. The gun has lost it. becomes a pure melee combat unit then. And I think we're far enough away that it can't reach us. That's probably famous last words. Again, we're expending a lot of rockets early on. Good. That's it on to stage two of hell. So at least it won't shoot us. Oh, promotion. Nice. Bad guy's turn. That wasn't bad. We killed almost the entire pod in one go. Here he comes. Is he in range or is he just... I 
think he's just out of range. Wow, he was one one square away from being within combat range. Yikes. That was pretty intense. So, who do we want to kill this thing? Anyone, really. 100%. Take that. And she's already used her lightning hands, but she's going to get 100% with the pistol again. Best thing about doing pistol shots is that pistols don't need to reload. That's why they're really cool. So we'll fire your pistol, 100%. And fire pistol again. No, not pistol, overwatch. Fire pistol, 100%. Good. One dead Andromedon. Fantastic. Vous êtes content? Oui. Then everyone else is just... I don't particularly want to move up too far because we know that there's a couple of guys up here. And I'd rather not have any nasty surprises. We'll just pee you there. What's over there? And you can kind of stay where you are until next turn. You can shuffle up a little bit. I don't want to move him until next turn, so let's just. Overwatch everyone. Scanning. On Overwatch. On Overwatch. I'm sure that's a sector pod. It sounds absolutely massive and it's just over here. This is actually quite a small map. Well, maybe the map's big, but we spawned really close to the objective. It's only up there. Okay, this is a sniper. We'll go behind the cactus. You'll go here. I'm going. You will go here. On the move. That's totally a sectopod, isn't it? Well, there's not much cover there, but you're gonna have to go there. Je suis parti. And that's everyone moved, so we'll overwatch everyone. Got it covered. Je passe en vigilance. Come get some. Moving to overwatch. Je passe en vigilance. There's really not a lot of cover over here, is there? The kind of is this way, so we'll maybe. Yeah, we'll kind of sneak down this way and then head diagonally up and blast a hole through this wall. That is the plan. D'accord, j'y vais. What's over there? I'm on it. Little baby steps. Je vais me mettre en position. Good for you to go. Getting it done. <laughs> Roger that. All right, I'll go. Yeah, we'll just do this. Overwatch. Oh, you guys got it covered. Ça bouge. Tout près d'ici. Okay, they're close. They're real close. Just over here, there's probably a turret on the roof or something. As well as whatever is making that big stompy noise. Uh, 
That's heavy cover. Is that one sectopod or two? Either way, it's terrifying. Not a problem. Like lasers. Is it clear? I'm trusting you here. Moving to position. On overwatch. Tout de suite. Moving to Covering overwatch. I've got movement. Heads up. Yeah, I know. They do want to. Well, I am going to blow a hole in that wall at some point. But what we blow it up with and who is going to do it is a bone of contention. Right, you go here. There's the sectopod and the shield bearer. Okay. Right, usually we'd go for the shield bearer straight away, but there's a sectopod on the field, so that has to die first. And ideally, we'd do that with a beam cannon. And that looks pretty good. In fact, you can get into hard cover behind this. Absolutely. Ninety-one percent on the sector part of doing eight to ten damage and shredding three armor. I mean, the rocket launcher is nice, but it just doesn't do enough damage. How about the grenade? What would the grenade do? Six to seven, and it will shred its armor. Oh, look at that! We can hit that and the shield bearer at the same time okay get ready for a surprise let's try and whistle down the sectopod and kill the shield bearer at the same time i don't think well neither of our snipers have ap rounds this is the other beam cannon guy. So you also need to get into heavy cover. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. It's gonna have to be. And you've used your rocket launcher. But this should kill the shield bearer. Take this! Okay, good. One last thing to worry about. This guy could be a bit of a pain, because as we know, these guys are really fast and they hit quite hard. But we do have a specialist that can wake them up if they get stunned. You do have 95% on that. And you do have all your stuff. Okay, so she's going to get three pistol shots in the sector pod. Thanks to quick draw. And then lightning hands. And then a normal pistol shot. Alright, it's down to 11 health. Interesting. I think it will keep you till last in case you need to throw the Mimic Beacon. Oh, Mimic Beacon would be great. Well, mind you, not really, because both of these guys will probably kill a Mimic Beacon in one shot. Okay, you can do a Lightning Hands. And then maybe throw a Grenade. Right, 100% on the Sector Pod. 
just now gone down to six health. And you look as if you're close enough to throw a grenade. Oh, come on, man. All right, it can't quite hit them both. But it will destroy the cover this guy's standing behind and destroy the sectopod. So that is what we're going to do. Um. Oh, well, he wasn't quite close enough to take damage from it. But now everyone else does have flanking shots on this guy. Everyone else being our two remaining people. So our scout can go up here. I don't particularly want to do run and gun and go here, even though it will give us like a 98% chance to hit. If there's any more bad guys here, we'll reveal them and activate them and that would be bad times. So let's just go here. 82. Well, if it hits, it'll kill him. Man, check out the damage these storm guns are doing. 11 to 13. Well, we missed, but thanks to our stock, we still hit. Now, this guy... Well, we'll move him up. We'll have a look at his hit chance with his rifle. And if it's not something we like, then we'll mimic beacon it. It's a 95 to do 7 to 9. So, I think we're just going to mimic beacon this. Yeah. Because they've just unveiled a turret as well. Hopefully the turret... Hopefully the stun lancer will go first. And damage the mimic beacon. And then the turret can finish it off. That's why we don't like these guys. Come on, Mr. Turret. Shoot the mimic beacon. Alright. That was a very, very good idea. Getting a little too warm over here. Les flammes vont tout cramer. Yes, I know, but you're going to move. And there's another sector pod. I knew I'd heard two. I knew it. Does anyone have the rocket left? Yes, you do. So you can move into this cover here. And then do the old rocket launcher on the roof trick to destroy this turret. Good, one dead turret. And then everyone else. Well, their cover has actually burnt away. I didn't know it actually physically burnt, but it does, apparently. Why can't you move? It's most strange. Okay, where do we want you to go? Kind of here, really. Je suis parti. 95% chance. Good. If it hits, it will kill him. And it hit and it killed him, which is great. That's what we need to see. Cible éliminé. And she has an implacable move, which she's not going to take. You're going to move there. You're going to move here. What's over there? You're going to go somewhere here. If you say so. Good. Now you can move. You're going to go I'm here. On it. Come get Scanning. some. Come get some. Okay, our turn again already. Well, that's where we need to go. There's not an awful lot of cover on the approach. But we'll make use of every scrap we can get. Okay, he can actually get here in cover. Not a problem. Let's see if he uncovers anything. Where is this other sector pod? I can hear it stomping around. Right, I'll go. Move, move, move. What's over 
don't particularly want to go there because if it is in the room then we'll see it and I don't want to see it because it'll activate so she's just going to run over here proper sneaky like and then everyone left the one overwatch just in case it comes around the corner and it did not come round the corner oh, sneaky sneak sneak it's worth it. I'm trusting you here. This turn, we're all just going to prepare. <clears throat> and then next turn, we'll actually get into this place. Because this looks like a big open area. There's a little bit of cover here. Not an awful lot, but... So two people can go here. Three people can line up here, and then... The last one can maybe, maybe go here. We shall see. Hostiles on the move. You see, is that cover though? It doesn't seem like it. That is. So why is this not saying it's cover? It should be. They have the rocket left, so. D'accord, j'y vais. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Des adventures. Yep. Now we see it. It was on the roof. Oh no! It was on the roof. Oh, holy crapola! Okay, now we have big problems. We have big, big problems. I think it's going to have to be beam cannon on the sectopod. So that's heavy cover. If you say so. And hopefully you'll have a really high chance to hit. That's a really high chance to hit. So we will take that all day long. Yes, we will. That's beautiful. That was tough. Yeah, but you're getting through it. Where is the other guy with the beam cannon? He's here. So that is also pretty good cover, and he's much closer to the sector pod. On my way. Ninety-five is not quite a hundred. Now this would be a hundred, and it would do an awful lot of damage to an awful lot of things. Okay, I like that. That's cool. Oh. Guaranteed hits are always good. If we're lucky, we'll get a critical on the guy hiding around the corner. Yes, look at that. Outstanding. We like that an awful lot. We really like that. Okay, this is our gremlin guy. Now our ranger also has their grenade left. kind of tempted to go here and then shotgun this thing in the head because we know that storm guns do between 11 and 13 and if it's 100 percent and we get a critical it'd be really really high I, I mean we're probably in range of this guy slashing us but Je vais me mettre en position. the sector pod is by far the biggest threat 100 percent really only 8 to 10 fair enough uh-oh forgot about that. <laughs> but we'll take it, you know. Okay, that was the repeater mod that we had fitted to her gun, which gave her a 5% chance of instantly killing something, and it worked. Unfortunately, she was standing too close to the sector pod when it died, and they explode when they die, as we see. And that meant that she took some damage. 
Okay, you have your rocket, but you can't fight it that close. You have a grenade. That is pretty damn nice. Okay, so go into cover. What's over there? Your target. No. You know, that's good. It's actually quite good to have small grenades sometimes, because this only hits the guy we want and the cover he's in. That's perfect. Magnifique. Okay, who's next? Plasma rifle. And this one. Well, this one's now got a bead on this guy, so let's lighten lightning hands him. 100%. This may actually kill him, you know. Boop. Not quite. And then we'll just fire the pistol again. 100%. This is going to kill him. Bang. Beautiful. Et voilà. Indeed. And then this guy's just gonna run up to the objective. Uh oh. That was a mistake. At least he's in cover. Kind of. Taking heavy fire. He's gonna get stunned. Oh what? What happened there? How did they both miss? He was laser targeted, out in the open, hiding behind a tiny bit of cover. Wow, we really, really dodged the bullet there, quite literally. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. Okay, it's probably the last of the bad guys in this mission, so let's Leroy Jenkins. You, with your last plasma grenade, are going to destroy all this guy's cover. Catch! Bloop. Like that. Ninety-five is not a hundred. How about you? Ninety-three? It's not any better but she does have lightning hands ready so I think we'll take three shots at 70-ish there's one lightning hands there's two well one of them was bound to miss well hit it 87% excellent critical hit Big deal. Okay. Yep, she's in range to slash. It's a hundred percent. It might kill this guy. He's only got seven health. Oh, he did seven damage. How good was that? That's a rhetorical question. Don't answer it. And you guys, I think, are just going to hang out here, and this guy's going to plant the X4, like so. Then what we have to do is extract next turn, and that should Status be easy. Five. Status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. And we'll put that just here. Oh, he can make it this turn. Already That's there! Good. She cannot quite, so we'll put it here. You can, you'll put you there. You can, so we'll put you there. Then everyone who's ready will just evacuate. And next turn, the other three will get out. Menace one five, be advised, we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Yeah, but by the time they get here, I'm not going to be here. Bye-bye. <laughs> One more black site cleared. This isn't going to be flawless. Well, the only damage we took is when we killed the sector pod, so I'll, I'll take time. that. I'll happily take that. And away we go. Menace 1-5, status confirmed. X-4 charges detonated. Br 
brilliant. One wounded, no killed. If we're lucky, she won't even be in the medical bay. Up, the aliens don't stand a chance, Commander. Look at that, she took some damage, but because she's a badass, she's not even in the infirmary. We've got three promotions. Okay, this guy's got a hidden ability. Deep cover. If you did not attack this turn, hunker down automatically. Yeah. Okay, this is his final rank. What's he gonna get? A rupture shot deals critical damage and ensures that the target takes an additional plus three damage from all attacks in the future. Well, that sounds absolutely awesome. Saturation fire. Fire a cone-shaped barrage of bullets at every enemy in an area. In addition, the cover of those, enemy of those enemies can be damaged or destroyed. Uses a lot of ammunition. Well, this is actually quite a tough choice because both of these are excellent. Rupture, I think, is the one to do because as we know, these mini guns are our primary armor shredding weapon. And if you can get a rupture shot on a sectopod, it will deal critical and do and everyone else that attacks it afterwards will get plus three damage. So that's what we're doing. Okay, hidden ability. Ooh, that's quite good fun. Okay, chain shot. Take a shot with an aim penalty of minus fifteen. If you hit a target, you take another shot on the target automatically. And that's that is pretty damn nice, you know? Wow. That could be very good fun with a sniper rifle, you know? Okay, let's have a look. Serial, a powerful chain shot ability. For every kill you make with your sniper rifle, your actions will be refunded. Well, that's pretty nice. But it does rely on a kill being made with a sniper. Fan fire. Fire the pistol three times at the same target. Well, if we're going to do quick draw, well, we can do quick draw, lightning hands, and then fan fire. So now it'll be one, two, three, four, five pistol shots. All right, proper gunslinger. And let's have a look at our scout. Hidden ability uncovered thanks to the advanced warfare center. Aim. Hunker down, now confers. Plus 20 aim to the first shot on the following turn. Nice. Okay, let's have a look at our native skills. Rapid fire. Fire twice in a row at an enemy. Each shot suffers an aim penalty of minus 15. There is no cooldown on this ability. Ooh. And a Reaper. A devastating chain melee attack where the first melee attack cannot miss. Each melee attack in Reaper mode grants an extra action, but further melee attacks have reduced damage. Hmm, I think we're going to go rapid fire because even though she's got the top tier sword, it's not as good as our storm gun is. And firing a storm gun twice at an enemy is just outstanding. That's an awful lot of damage. Alright. And we didn't Your get any did a commendable job in destroying the aliens facility, Commander. Their efforts towards the Avatar project will undoubtedly be set back by your incursion. One, two, two. Well, that's good. That's pretty nice. So I think the next thing we have to do is to make contact with the Eastern United States so we can get up here and get this Avatar facility. So I'll go and do that. And then we'll reconvene again and we'll play some more XCOM 2. I hope you come back for that. And I hope you stay in good health until then. I'll talk to you later.